The official Squad Busters YouTube channel just posted this image with the caption, which table are you sitting at? And the thing is that there are five characters here that are not yet in the Squad Busters universe, but I'll bet you they will be soon. Now, this is almost certainly intended as a sort of sneaky way of announcing that these characters are coming into the game. This includes, by the way, the Ice Wizard, Dr. T, Jesse, Paco, and Leon. So we'll review each one of these characters and we can show you exactly where they are in here. We've got Dr. T up top. We'll get a closer look at what his kit is. He's from Boom Beach. We'll get a look at Leon, who's from Brawl Stars, Jesse, and also Ice Wizard. And then last but not least, we've got Paco down in the bottom right, who's a musician slash healer. Although I don't know, it sounds like, like what would, you, what would he do? Would he be kind of like a medic? Let's review their kits in the games that they're from and talk about how they transition into being Squad Busters characters. Let's start with Paco, who believes that music can change people's lives. He's so enthusiastic about it that he never stops playing even after people ask him to. Okay, that's kind of funny. Paco is a rare brawler who has moderate health and the ability to provide immense healing to his teammates, but very low damage. For his attack, Paco plays the guitar on. I think I pronounced that correctly, sending damage, um, damaging musical notes within a wide spread and range. His super fires larger and faster musical waves, healing himself and any allies within its range. His first gadget, Tuning Fork gives out a circular musical wave around him that allows himself and allies in it to heal over a few seconds. His second gadget, Protective Tunes, cleanses allies from any adverse side effects and protects allies from those effects momentarily in a large radius around him. So maybe what he does is like something that clears negative status effects. That would be kind of an interesting addition to the game, right? If he operated as a support and he would do something like you know, I mean, gosh, making your squad immune to negative status effects would be huge. Freeze spell, shrink. There's probably other things I'm not thinking of now. I'm sure there will be more negative status effects as we go. Like, we know the Ice Wizard's is on the way. He's probably going to do a slowing effect. I feel like Paco could be a cool addition. I would just want him to be differentiated from the medic who already does party healing. And oh my gosh, this site has so many ads. It's insane. Up next is Leon, who, by the way, is the brother of Nita, which is kind of cool. Since Leon doesn't like hanging out with other people much, his ability to become invisible comes in handy. His only little sister, Nita, seems to get through to him. So, yeah, I wonder if, by the way, they make a special synergy between these two characters. I don't think they will, but it will be kind of neat if they did. Like, a, if you have Nita and Leon in your squad, something happens. That, that feels like a little bit too much dependency. But also, squad busters, right? Like, the whole thing is about teaming up and making a squad. Why not? But invisibility would be insane, wouldn't it? Like, if you enter into a bush for a temporary period of time, if you're not already in combat, you go invisible. Would that just be too strong? I feel like it would be. So Leon is a legendary brawler in Brawl Stars who has moderate health and high damage, and he needs to be at close range. He attacks by flickering out four spinner blades that sweep and deal less damage the further away you are. Leon's super makes him temporarily invisible to enemies. His first gadget, a clone projector, spawns a clone of himself to confuse enemies. His second gadget, Lollipop Drop, places his lollipop that turns his teammates and him invisible within the area of its effect. And his first star power, Smoke Trails, increases his movement speed while his super's active. His second star power, Invisa Heal, heals him over time while his super's active. Jeez. His hypercharged limbo allows him to stay invisible when attacking while his super is active. Oh my God. So I don't know, man. Invisibility for a squad sounds too strong and too weird. I'm kind of hopeful they wouldn't do something like that. I, what do you guys think? What, what ability are we getting out of this dude? Like a stealth invisibility sounds a little too powerful. Some sort of area of effect damage could be okay, but sounds like it's missing something that wouldn't be enough so i would guess that we're gonna get some sort of combination here of invisibility plus area of effect damage high damage low health sounds like is what he's gonna be up next is jesse a prodigy who builds guns and gadgets from the parts she finds in the junkyard maybe one day her mother pam holy smokes we'll see she can fend for herself okay so jesse is the daughter of pam 
Pam, we know, is a healer who drops a heal station. She's from Brawl Stars. Jessie's a super rare brawler who has moderately low health, moderate damage, and normal reload speed. Her attack is an electric orb that bounces between enemies. Her super place is Scrappy, a turret with moderate health and damage output that excels at attacking, distracting, and defending. Her first gadget, Spark Plug, creates a shockwave around Scrappy that slows down her enemies. Her second gadget, Recoil Spring, doubles Scrappy's attack speed for five seconds. Her first star power, Energize, allows her to heal her turret by attacking it. And her second star power, Shocky, allows her turret to shoot mini energy orbs that can bounce between enemies. Her hypercharge, Scrappy 2.0, increases health and damage of the next super. I mean, it would not be surprising to me if she's got some sort of spell that she gives you that drops down like a turret and that she actually like periodically is giving you this spell rather than having it just be like a one-time thing. Or maybe she can repair turrets. Like, can you imagine if she could go and, and repair like cannons and expos and other things you put on the ground? Maybe that'd be too strong, but she's definitely going to do something with some sort of turret. And I imagine she'll have a special uh, spell, a deployable turret of some kind. The only thing that feels weird to me is that I feel like she's got some kind of relationship with, with her turret over here, right? And I feel like she'll need a way to redeploy it wherever she goes, or maybe it's a pet that comes along with you. To be determined, but something with turrets sounds about right. Up next is the Ice Wizard, who I believe is originally from Clash of Clans. If we scroll on down, the Ice Wizard was the third gift players get in the three days of Clashmas event, occurring during the time period of Christmas 2016. Holy smokes. Ice Wizards prioritize defensive structures above all of the targets, it will bypass all of the types of enemy buildings and troops, while any defenses remain on the battlefield. This is true even if they're under attack from an enemy clan castle troops, heroes, or skeleton trap skeletons. Note that like all troops it prioritized, uh, that prioritize defenses, Ice Wizards do not consider the clan castle to be a defense, regardless of whether or not it contains enemy troops. This goes on for a little bit, um, but unlike Clash Royale's counterpart, Ice Wizards prioritize defenses. I thought that Clash Royale also had Ice Wizard. Let me go pull this up in Clash Royale real quick. Let's see what it does over there. Okay, the Ice Wizard. This chill caster throws ice shards that slow down enemy movement and attack speed. Despite being freezing cold, he has a handlebar mustache that's too hot for TV. Okay, take it easy. The Ice Wizard's legendary. That's what I thought. Unlocked from Spooky Town Arena 12 spawns an area damage, air targeting, medium ranged ground troop. That's a lot of modifiers. The Ice Wizard's attacks slow the target's movement and attack speed by 35%. Upon deployment, he will deal damage around enemy units in a 360 area around him and slow them down similarly to his attack. His hair and eyes are blue. He wears thick robes and Ice Wizard, okay, costs three elixir to deploy. So I would bet that the Ice Wizard, just like we see in these other games, is going to do splash damage. It's going to be less damage than the wizard is doing, which is already pretty low, but he does AOE damage. And it's going to have some sort of slowing effect. And the ice wizard was briefly leaked, I think unintentionally in, I think it was the Apple App Store. He'd sort of made his way into some of the media for the game. And it's like, whoopsie daisies. <laughs> whoopsie daisies so we know ice wizard is definitely on his way to the game all right and the other one that i think was also released in media is dr t from boom beach dr t the preeminent evil genius of our time obviously i'm a lot smarter than you man i mean if he's not trying to be groot i i don't even know what to tell you like all he needs is minions okay and we're there Dr. T is the mad scientist in charge of the Black Guard's artifact weaponization program. Most of the time he's occupied conducting evil experiments, but now and then he invades um, the archipelago to enslave its innocent islanders. Dr. T's bases are comprised of an assortment of NPC buildings, mines, boom mines, shock mines, statues, and defenses at various levels. The base layouts, all right, so this goes on and on, but the leaks seem to indicate that the way Dr. T will work in squad busters is that you've basically got like some kind of bot that you will summon and power up based on your getting more coins. I think this also made it into some social media. I generally don't like to deal in leaks because 
app developers have the opportunity to basically shut down your channel when you deal in leaks. So what we'll work with here is the information we have available, which is that Dr. T is on his way in game and almost certainly is going to have some stuff that you can summon and power up, all right? So all in all, kind of hyped about all of these characters coming into Squad Busters, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What abilities do you think they'll have? What rarity do you think they'll be? Some of these characters are legendary rarity in the games that they're from. Are we gonna get a legendary rarity in Squad Busters? I think it's inevitable that we will, although I don't know that we are going to get something like that just yet. I made a video just the other day about Squad Busters having a 2.7 rating, and people were wondering like, bro, when I look up Squad Busters, I don't see a 2.7 rating. This is what I found when I did a search on, like, like just a, a Google search for Squad Busters Google Play, which is how I got that number. Um, but if you look on specific platforms, it's rating better, by the way. I saw something like a 4.0 on iOS for my phone and my tablet, so who knows? But check the card in the end screen if you wanna see the video about how I talk about how to save Squad Busters with this 2.7 review. I think the game's got a ton of potential. And for the record, I do think Supercell is gonna make a lot of positive changes, although dropping new characters, I mean, that's just new content and you love to see new content. But also check the uh, suggestions I made in this video. I think they're pretty decent.